Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit educational personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Good evening, YouTube family. I have less than 30 minutes to give you these recalls today. Today is Wednesday, February 23rd. I actually have two. I don't believe I went over one of these. The last recall I went over was the recall for the family dollar. Sorry, I'm trying to get my, my phone kind of straight. I have a, um, a laptop desk and I have my phone sitting in a little crate on my desk. So I have two recalls for you. You're going to hear a little sizzling in the background because um, it actually snowed all day in my area. It snowed all night, like light snow. So a lot of stuff was covered. Then it did. Um, then it stopped. Then it hailed, snowed, stopped, hailed, snowed, stopped. So it was pretty much like that all day today. And it stopped this going. It's like, it's like 4.55 in the, I'll say, evening. And it stopped around 2 o'clock. It was supposed to stop hours before that, but it just kept going. And um, my rain barrel on the side of the house is filled with water. So I went on Amazon, of course, and ordered a, a little water hose so I can water on the side and maybe come on this side, you know, in the back of the house. And, um, and I ordered some more water containers. I'm using the last two of my... Um, water containers today to sterilize this water and put it in there and I ordered four more um, just a correction on my last water sterilization video I said that the water containers let me show you that I have were five gallons these are 1.3 gallon containers not five gallon and I ordered um, four more of these because they're just um, really easy to carry so let me go ahead and get into the recalls. The first one is Corfu Foods Inc. Corfu, C-O-R-F-U Foods Inc. Recalls, I think it's called Sway, S-W-A-I. In parentheses, it says Suli Reforms Products Imported Without Benefit of Import Reinspection. So let's see what this is. Curfew Foods, Inc., a Bensonville, Illinois farm, is recalling um, approximately 6,570 pounds of sway, swish, sway, sway fish products imported from Vietnam that were not presented for import reinspection into the United States. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection announced this on February 18th. <clears throat> the frozen sway fish fillets items were imported on January 15th, 2022. The following products are subject to recall. And it says the, the label reads 15 pounds bulk corrugated box packages containing various sizes of Pacific Dynasty Sway Fillets and lot code VN461VI354. And let's see. Oh, it has the label here. Let me turn this around. This is what the label looks like. Pacific Dynasty Sway Fillets. That's what it that's what the box looks like. Oh, wait. You know what? Let me make this smaller. And this is the nutritional value on it. Looks like the FDA registration. And this is, that's the last page. Okay, so now we all know what it looks like. Let me go back. <clears throat> Okay, it says these items were shipped to institutions, restaurants, and retail locations in Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Consumers may have purchased the Sway fillets in bulk or hand-wrapped from the fish counter at retailers. The problem was discovered when a company notified FSIS 
that they received and further distributed imported product without verifying that the product was presented for FSIS import reinspection. They have, there have been no, conform, no confirmed reports of adverse reactions due to consumption of these products. Anyone concerned about a reaction should contact their health care provider. It says FSIS is concerned that some product may be in institutional restaurant or consumer refrigerators or freezers. Restaurants and institutions are urged not to serve these products. Consumers who have purchased these products are urged to not consume them. These products should be thrown away and returned to the place of purchase. FSIS routinely conducts recall effectiveness checks to verify recalling firms to verify recalling firms notify their customers of the recall and that steps are taken to make certain that the product is no longer available to consumers. And that is it. Excuse me, sorry, I actually worked from home today because it took a snow day and worked from home. So actually, you tend to work more when you work from home. Weird, but it always happens to me. Okay, so there's they're not saying anything is wrong with this fish. It's just that when it got imported into the United States, um, it wasn't sent to the um, to the Food and Safety Inspection Service for reinspection once the food entered once it entered into the country. <coughs> kind of went down the wrong pipe, sorry. <coughs> sorry. The next one was done, was voluntarily recalled <coughs> yesterday. This is a name, Frickin' Schmidt. Freaking Schmidt, F R I C K E N S C H M I D T. Freaking Schmidt <clears throat> Foods LLC recalls ready to eat beef stick products due to misbranding. Take another swig, sorry. Freak, freaking Schmidt. <laughs> <clears throat> sorry. Freaking Schmidt is a Lockwood, Missouri establishment, is recalling 5,795 pounds of ready-to-eat beef stick products due to misbranding. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Service, FSIS, announced on February 22nd. <clears throat> the product contains and declares wheat as an ingredient, <clears throat> but has an inc incorrect statement of gluten-free on the label. Let's see. The ready-to-eat teriyaki beef stick items were packaged on November 30th, December, November 30th, 2021, December 1st, 2021, and January 28th, 2021. Maybe they meant 2022, but it says 2021. <clears throat> the following products are subject to recall. The package reads as 1.5 ounce individually sealed packages of High protein snack teriyaki beef, wicked cuts beef stick, hmm. with a lock code one one three zero two two one two zero one two two or one two zero one two eight two three. Printed in blue ink on the back of the product, and it looks like they give us the label. So let's see here. This is what the label looks like. You can see it. And there's the blueprint. That is what it looks like. Okay, let me put the camera back here. <clears throat> Let's see. These products subject to recall bear establishment number Emma's Mary 33928 which is printed in blue ink on the back of the product package. These items were shipped to retail, retail locations nationwide and sold through online sales. The problem was discovered when the distribution company notified the establishment that the product is labeled as gluten-free, but lists wheat in the ingredient statement. There have been no conformed reports of adverse reactions due to consumption of these products. 
Anyone concerned about an injury or illness should contact a health care provider. Let's see. Sorry. I'm so sorry. And that's it. Those are the two recalls today. Freaking Schmidt. And <laughs> that's a heck of a name. I'm just saying. So that is it for today. I was thinking about something else I wanted to tell you guys, but um, I can't remember it off the top of my head um, at the moment. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Um, I'll be sterilizing water for a little while. And that is it. I'm going to take my glasses off a little bit tired. So I just ask you all to stay safe. And as I always say, please find peace within yourself. And please be peaceable with each other. I love you all. Have a good evening.